Hello Internet! I'm Hazel, and this is a look at the Beast Mastery Hunter PvP Talent Tree in Legion. If you haven't already, I recommend first checking out my video on the BM changes in Legion to get an idea for what regular talents and abilities you'll be working with. Spoiler alert, you get a lot of pets. You'll unlock the following PvP talents as you level up in the new Honor 2.0 system, and they'll work in PvP combat only. The first 10 levels will get you started with the 6 abilities in the left column, and then leveling further gives you more options. Just like with regular talents, you'll be able to choose one option from each row. The first row is the same for every class and spec in the game, with a focus on getting out of CC. Gladiator's Medallion is your new PvP trinket. Trinkets won't work in PvP, and the human racial is also being adjusted so this is it. It's unlocked at Honor Level 1, so at least you get it right away. Adaptation is a passive option that automatically gets you out of long CC, with a 1.5 minute internal cooldown. It'll get you out of things more often than the default trinket, but overall it's probably not worth it. Relentless passively reduces the duration of all CC you take by 25%. This seems really nice for beginners and casual PvP. The second row is the same for all DPS specs. Train of Thought increases all damage you do by 15% if you haven't been hit in the last 8 seconds. If you can keep out of trouble, that's pretty solid. Mind Quickness gives you a passive 15% haste no strings attached. That's quite good for almost everyone. Initiation gives you 30% more crit on targets above 80% health. You might get some good mileage out of that one in Battlegrounds. The third row is shared with all Hunter specs. Dragon Scale Armor mitigates the damage you take from magic dots by 20% at all times. That sounds like a must-have against Warlock, Shadow Priest, and even Boomkin comps. Cat-like Reflexes causes melee crits to grant you 30% dodge for 4 seconds. That's an excellent talent to have against melee cleaves, especially if the enemy has a proc giving them crit for a while. Survival Tactics causes Feign Death to remove all harmful magical effects, and reduce your damage taken by 100% for a second and a half. That damage reduction doesn't last that long, but if well-timed, could make you immune to the nastiest Chaos Bolt on the planet. The fourth row is also shared with all Hunter specs. Viper Sting causes your Cobra Shot to reduce the target's healing done by 30% for 12 seconds. If they successfully hardcast a heal though, Viper Sting is removed. That sounds like it'd be best if you're pressuring a healer to prevent that from happening. Scorpid Sting causes your Cobra Shot to reduce the target's physical crit chance by 50% for 4 seconds. That's a pretty obvious choice when fighting physical DPS. Spider Sting is its own spell on a 45 second cooldown that causes the next offensive spell cast to silence the caster for 5 seconds. It has an 8 second duration, so unless their healer can dispel poisons quickly, they're better off just getting that over with. Which sting you take will depend entirely on the comp you're facing. Scorpid for melee, Spider for casters, and I think I like Viper for battlegrounds. The fifth row has our first Beast Mastery specific talents. Thick Hide shortens the duration of CC effects on your Dire Beasts by 75%. If they're getting Ring of Frosted all day, this might be one to think about. Sharpened Claws gives your Dire Beast a small bleed that stacks up to 3 times for some extra damage. Wild Protector gives your Dire Beasts a 5 yard aura that reduces damage taken by allies by 15%. That's really valuable to use if you have a melee on your team. Otherwise, I'd mostly take Sharpened Claws. The final row is also specific to Beast Mastery Hunters. Dire Beast Basilisk is a 2 minute cooldown that summons a slow moving basilisk for 30 seconds. It'll attack the nearest target and does heavy damage. The question is, exactly how slow is it? It sounds like you can easily kite it so you may need to stack this up with some stuns and snares. Dire Beast Hawk does AoE damage within 10 yards for 10 seconds on a 1 minute cooldown. Depending on how much damage it does, that could be good pressure not only for battlegrounds but against melee and arena as well. Dire Beast Gorilla summons a powerful gorilla to charge into battle, knocking back all enemies in its path on a 1 minute cooldown. If you need another tool to peel for your allies, this might be just the thing. It doesn't sound like he does any damage though, so presumably once he's done charging, your gorilla buddy just kind of moseys off somewhere else. So those are the PvP talents you'll unlock as a Beast Mastery Hunter in Legion. These talents look pretty clear cut for different situations, which I think doesn't leave a lot of room for personal playstyle decisions. It's too soon to say much for sure though. What do you think the best talents are? Let me know what you think and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!